it's amazing to listen to some of the stories of certainly the old trophy of, of how it came about and you know some of the games that were involved with it and yeah obviously you know massive uh, rivalry between between Saints and, uh, and Warrington and you know some great games I've been on obviously both sides of the fence you know starting my professional career at, at Warrington and then obviously playing the majority of my, my career at Saints. So, yeah, I've been involved with some uh, some great games between the uh, the two clubs. See the trophy that Warrington first won, uh, I was unaware of it. So, yeah, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a trophy. It's, they've brought it back now. They're playing for it again. But, uh, yeah, the rivalry goes back you know, to 1870s or something like that. Warrington Club formed in 1876 as Warrington Zingari and changed the name to Warrington the following season and at that time all the games that the club were playing um, were just ordinary games as they were referred to. They were, there was no cup competition at the time, um, that followed a number of years after so association football had started the FA Cup in 1871. Um, Yorkshire Rugby Union Club started their own cup competition in 1877 and it was 1886 before the Lancashire clubs finally got to play for their own cup competition. Uh, so um, at the back end of the 1885-6 season, Warrington started playing in that competition, um, which as I say is the first time that we'd played competitive games, if you like. Um, they uh, played some familiar names um, through the trophy, so uh, Widnes and St Helens were both played in the earlier rounds um, and they got through to the final to play against Aspel. Um, so quite a different scoring system that was used at the time um, and it was actually a drop goal which Warrington scored which won them the trophy. Um, so uh, yeah that was the first time that they'd been able to kind of compete for silverware and obviously they were successful in the first season so um, that was a, a big stepping stone for the club as well because that suddenly gave them a lot more kudos and a lot more status um, in the kind of Lancashire area so all of a sudden they were able to arrange games against the, the bigger teams uh, both in Lancashire and in Yorkshire um, so as the game kind of continued to grow and continue to expand, Warrington was seen as one of the leading clubs, um, which was obviously quite important from a historical context because um, come 1895, Warrington were one of the leading clubs who were involved in the breakaway from rugby union. So this trophy plays a really important part really in the history of the club, both in terms of um, obviously the prestige of winning it, but obviously the status that that kind of brought to the club and um, obviously the impact that that had in the future as well. very much the case at the time that local rivalry, rivalry was what underpinned the growth of the game and um, that was what attracted fans to, to come and see matches and you know you would get people going to away matches as well as there was a few thousand people from Warrington that went to the final um, in the first year which was at a neutral ground and um, so you know fans were traveling to watch um, their teams play away as well as at home uh, but those local rivalries were, were crucial and it, it's really interesting to kind of look back over you know 130 years or so now and see that a lot of the clubs that, that Warrington fans would look forward to as the big rivalries now you know you look for the St Helens and Wiggins on the fixture list actually that would have been exactly the same 130 130 years ago people were were looking at um, when we were playing those teams and looking forward to drawing them in the cup and um, you know the rivalry now is probably as, in, as intense as it was all the way back then but uh, it's interesting to kind of see how long held those rivalries are really. A lot of people have seen the trophy, if not in person, at least on television. It's the first time I've been able to get really up close to it today and it's a beautiful cup and um, you know it looks quite nice seen against the first cup that we won all those years ago. So uh, personally I'm really proud to, to play the small part in bringing those two cups together. Um, and uh, it's great to kind of see them there and you know it's 120, 130 odd years apart that we won the two, two trophies but um, yeah there's a, a very strong cup tradition um, within Warrington you know one of the most successful teams in the Challenge Cup um, and it's, it's nice to kind of see that that pedigree dates all the way back to the 1880s uh, and being the first winners of any cup competition. <laughs>